four-fifths of the air around us is a colourless gas called nitrogen. Now you can change that colourless gas into a clear liquid by cooling the temperature down and putting it under pressure. Eventually you get this liquid which you see in the ice cream container. It's bubbling and boiling away, it looks very much like water, but it is much, much colder. In fact, it's at a temperature of about minus 196 degrees Celsius. Because it's so cold, I'm wearing protective glasses and also protective gloves. Let's see how cold it is. You know that an ordinary rubber ball bounces quite well, particularly on a hard surface such as a brick. What happens to an identical rubber ball which has been in the liquid nitrogen for about two to three minutes? Let's have a look. There it is, it still looks the same. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. And it breaks, sounding for all the world like a glass light bulb. Why don't you talk to your science teacher and see if you can persuade him or her to get some liquid nitrogen to try this experiment and also some others at school. You